Riders with us, do your thing. So, this is scary. Talk to me about the makeup that you have to use. Is it, is it expensive? It actually is very expensive. Right now I'm using liquid latex, so that's stuff that you can use on the uh, We could use car wash or we could use simple. Liquid latex is the cheapest stuff, the three that you can use. Um, once you have created the room, you need the color and team for you to look real. This is what I have right now, trying to get the color. I'm just thinking of quick books. Talk to me about the difference between like, I don't want to say a regular makeup artist and somebody who does special effects like do your skills have to be that much more when you're doing the special effects? So can there be a regular makeup artist to do this? Um, you can. It's just that with the effects, you really, really have to get into character. Like if you're creating a room, how old is the room? What does it really, really look like? So you don't want to say it's a fresh room and then you're using yellow and fresh that makeup is different from what you make on a regular things. Absolutely different. Okay. Alright, continue with the demonstration. Miss Richards, yeah you. Yes. So alright now, you miss how long have you been doing makeup, Julie? Well about six years. Alright? And um, how lucrative is this business for you? You have it, boy? I resigned being a full-time teacher in the high school. You see that? Listen, although we're here for the students this afternoon to show them the different opportunities you can get in the entertainment field, I understand that she was a teacher, a full-time teacher, this lady that is currently doing the makeup right now, and she left that to be a full-time makeup artist, and clearly she's not going to do that if she had have any less money. So, let's just put that out there. Hello teachers, <laughs> hi teachers, yeah, we love you all of course, stay school as well for the kids, but you have other opportunities out there. Even though I resigned being a full time teacher in the high school, as you know this is a screen for school of being a part of the So you're still teaching? Right, I still teach persons who to be accredited as a proper makeup artist with the City and Wales Institution. Tell us some do's and don'ts for makeup. Just regular stuff persons need to know. The do's and don'ts go to class, safe face, your foundation, buy the right foundation for your skin tone. Not because it's a particular brand you say, hey, I'm going to get it. Make sure it suits your skin tone and your skin type. Now, if you can't get assistance inside uh, a makeup store, if you go in there, how do you know what fits your skin? Really? Okay, normally persons who work in a makeup store, they advise them that they should know about makeup first of all, because not everybody knows about makeup. Now, to know your skin type, you wash your face, you dry your face, you get a sheet of paper, grease paper, press it over the face, and that will show you the areas where most oils are produced. Less oils on the face or on the grease paper will tell you how much oils you are producing. And oily skin, that person who always talk about is bad skin. It is from your diet, your genes, probably the medication that you're taking or are you stressed. All right, now, Miss Richards here, what? Brad, are you using on her? What shade are you using on her? What did you choose that for her skin tone? Okay, I chose the L'Oreal liquid foundation for her skin because she has normal skin, as well as I chose the W10, the W medium warm because of her skin tone. Thank you, Joni. That's this pretty thing. We're gonna go back over here. This look how we wanna tell the truth. Oh my god. So right now for those of you who can't see this at home right now, it looks like blood and yeah. This is look how it is. But this is amazing, isn't it amazing? That you can do this from makeup. Wow, you know they go up tonight, they want to drop the dog. I should see her, right? I wonder. She's going to wonder what happened to you. You understand? So the power of makeup, so you're finished. So if you could just ensure everyone has the right taxis, what's going on here? This is a woman that has opened up for the parents of the parties. But it's so cool that you can do this from makeup. It is. It is makeup. Not like regular makeup, makeup, but like regular makeup, special effects makeup. Wow. 
So let me ask you this. To make good blood look runny. Uh, uh, is it like water that you add to this to do this? Um, no, actually you can get pre-made blood and there are some companies that specialize in modern blood. So you have coagulated blood, it depends on what you want. So I have the regular blood if you want. If I need it, um, let's say some part of it to look like it's separated, I will just throw it with a pot and put it there. <laughs> And that look as it has been so oh, that's so neat. Okay, so how often do you get to do this? How lucrative is special effects in Jamaica? Um, very. The thing is that, you know, we really, really have to start with the video of the in Jamaica. I got the special effects because I was working in a room locally and they needed to take it. And being in the process of time to start. So, I realized I needed to do some research.